Good afternoon, everybody, on this Sunday, January 3rd. It is barely afternoon. It's like eight minutes after 12. <laughs> so I missed the morning by just a couple minutes, but uh, I've been busy this morning. My alarm went off at 7.30, and I didn't get up until about, I didn't get out of bed until about 8.15. Uh, I got some laundry going, so we're gonna hear this loud noise over here for a minute. Um, but, so far today, um, I've made the breakfast for Nick for the week. I made John breakfast, I made myself breakfast. I got a shower, John changed the sheets on the bed, and we are currently downstairs in the den. So that's where I'm gonna head actually right now. Um, we're down there working on some stuff, but I was down there and I was like, oh crap, I have not opened the vlog yet. So that's where I'm going back down. Nick's in here watching Naruto or something. Why is the refrigerator door hanging open? Oh yeah, I was going to yeah, give me the some keys. Naruto. Is this your keys? No. Ah, yeah, yeah, Mine's the Honda keys. The Honda keys. That needs the Honda keys, There's not the real Honda Honda keys. keys. Nicholas one. literally opened the refrigerator door and left it hanging oh, open. That is not cool, Nick. Not cool at all. Um, anyway. Why did you close it? It was gonna come back up here. Because you left it hanging open. That's why. Wow. Anyway, I had to bring something upstairs anyway, so I brought it upstairs. And, um, there's something else I gotta bring upstairs. So some more bags to go in with this, the suitcases. We're consolidating all the luggage in one area. Oh, there's something in this one. What's in this bag? Pictures. Pictures. Lots and lots of pictures. Cool. Anyway, we are starting to work through some things. I'm gonna, I'll take both these bags up and put them up with the other suitcases then. Um, we're stacking up stuff that needs to go in the garbage over here. That's gonna go out. Uh, this cooler just needs to go, that cooler right there, just needs to go in this garage right here. But this garage is full of other stuff right now. And that box needs to be gone through. Uh, that one right there. Well, not both the one on the top and the one on the bottom. Those boxes need to be gone through. Um, got a bunch of empty boxes sitting here, which we gotta get rid of. But we are over here working in the den, which isn't looking all that much better than what you saw last time. Um, John moved, the table was over here. We moved it over there and put that tablecloth that I got from Target for like five bucks. I bought that in the um, after Christmas sale. And it actually fits perfectly. Um, well, as perfectly, I guess, as you can get for a table that sits close to the ground. It doesn't drag on the floor as long as it's balanced correctly. So that's exactly what I want. Now it is going to move over a little bit here, but we got to get rid of the rest of this stuff. Um, but I am currently going through this box right here, which is a bunch of paper. So I'm going to get through that. And John was working on a box that was over here, which he got through. I think he got through actually two. Um, there was a box, and then there was a box of textbooks that he got rid of. So those were both over here in front of the door. He got rid of those. Um, so, yeah, it's starting to come together again. Uh, we made a mess of it, and now we're, we're cleaning it up. But I have until Thursday to get this stuff gone, the boxes over here gone, um, and then this stuff over here gone. Some of the stuff just needs to be brought upstairs. Like that lamp just needs to be brought upstairs. This stuff needs to be brought upstairs. This stuff needs to be brought upstairs. There's glasses in there from Pat O'Brien's from New Orleans. Those just need to go upstairs. So there's some stuff that just needs to go upstairs. Um, but the real key is that that is where the wood stove is going to go. And we need a clear path from that door over to the wood stove so they can install it and they're coming a week from Tuesday they're coming on the 12th so um, John and I are going away on Friday for Friday Saturday Sunday so we need to have this room at least accessible by Thursday night um, so John was like well let's just do some work in here we are gonna go out of the house a little bit later um, John needs to fill up the tank of his truck because he is going to work tomorrow I don't know if he's staying in the truck or the Volkswagen. We filled the Volkswagen gas yesterday when we went to Sam's Club. Um, but the truck needs to be full because it's literally on empty. So I know that's a bag of shoes. <laughs> There's a bag of my shoes literally right there. It's a garbage bag full of shoes that I need to go through and decide which ones are going to get thrown away and which ones I'm keeping. Um, yeah. Anywho, uh, we are going to go out a little bit later. Um, I was online looking at something and somebody had posted a picture of... A, like meal prepping thing they found at the tar
Target dollar spot. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna have John drop me off at Target. He's gonna go get um, uh, gas stabilization stuff, stable or you know whatever brand he can get. And he's gonna fill up our gas tanks the like uh, um, lawnmower gas tanks and the that that can go back with the games I've, I've been like stacking all the games and books and stuff over there um, but I can he can he's gonna go fill up the gas tanks and then the cars gas tank as well um, and I'm just gonna go wander around Target for you know 20 minutes or whatever it takes him to get the gas filled um, so we're gonna do that a little bit later I do want to do it before it gets dark outside because it's 12 o'clock now. It's going to get dark about 4. But it's raining outside right now and it's cold. It's only supposed to be in like the high 20s today or low 30s. So they were calling for freezing rain. It doesn't appear that it's freezing rain right now. Um, but if it still stays cold as the sun goes down, it's going to be it's going to be frozen. So we're definitely going to get that done before it gets dark outside. Um, but I wanted to get some work in down here. The big thing is this box that I was telling you about yesterday that has all the paper in it. So this box is my uh, annoyance for the day. This whole box. This is going to probably take me an hour, hour and a half to go through. Um, and then some of this other stuff just needs to place like that bingo cushion. That's actually from my grandmother. My grandmother used to go play bingo at a church near where she lived. And she used to bring that to sit on the little folding chair that they had. Um, so that has kind of like a sentimental value to me because it was my grandmother's, you know. So all this stuff up here, that's just like pictures and stuff. A lot of this stuff just needs a place. This big box right here has a bunch of old video gaming systems. So we got to decide what we're going to do with that too. So what? the box with all the video gaming systems. The big box, it says Dolby Digital. You put a whole bunch of old video gaming systems in there. Oh, I did, did I? Yeah, to move them. And Wednesday wants attention. Mm -hmm. She wants attention. Oh, well, there she goes. She just, just made herself welcome. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say good morning, or, well, good afternoon. I just wanted to say hello, and to get the vlog started, I'm going to go through this box, which is going to take me, like I said, it's probably going to take me about an hour to get through it all, because um, I try, like, pretty much we know what needs to be shredded, but typically what, like, everybody in my family does is if it comes in an envelope and it needs to get shredded, the whole envelope goes in the garbage can or goes in the shred box. But because we have so much stuff that needs to be shredded, when we get to this point where we have a whole box of stuff, and I, we have more, I mean, there's more in the garage that needs to be shredded, I try to go through it and remove the stuff that doesn't actually need to be shredded. So the envelope, it's just an envelope, it doesn't need to be shredded. Um, a lot of times there's a lot of, like, we get a lot of credit card offers. I don't know about you all, but we get a ton of freaking credit card offers. And we, uh, I, I don't really, we, bleh. <laughs> they come with a lot of like stuff, like disclo disclaimers and stuff that's not, um, that doesn't have like the offer number or doesn't have our names on it and our addresses on it and that sort of stuff. So like those sorts of things, um, I don't shred. It has like all the APRs and that sort of stuff. I just throw those out. So, um, I try to, uh, minimize the amount that actually needs shredded because we just have so much shred stuff. So anyway, four days to get the wood stove accessible because like I said, we're going away Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be back Sunday afternoon and you know, Monday we work. So, and Nick goes back to school on Monday, the 11th. So that is, you know, that's going to be a day. <sighs> Uh, where Nick's going to be trying to adjust going back to school. Although he's, he wants to go back to school. He misses being in school. He's, he wants to be there. So, um, anyway, that's going to be it for now. I've got a bit of a headache. I've had a headache for like a week, but like I said, I think that's me trying to get back into ketosis and stop. But then I had, I had carbs last night. So I had fried chicken last night. So that's my fault. I had, um, fried chicken tenders from Arby's for dinner. So. All right, I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys later. We're going to go to Target in a little bit. and Well, I'm going to go to Target, and John's going to go get gas. So other than that, we're kind of hanging around the house today. Bye. All right, you guys, it is 4.30, and my left wrist hurts today. This is the first time I'm getting this wrap out of the box. I had the right one. The right one's actually sitting over here because my right wrist is the one that keeps hurting. I mean, and that makes sense because I'm right-handed dominant. I'm right dominant. But after emptying that, truck yesterday my left wrist hurts now these wrists 
wrist guards. I got one for each hand. I got the shorter ones without the thumb guard. I got them both at Rite Aid. Um, but they have metal pa metal panels in the back and the front. And I've taken those out of both of them. They they're removable. They're not like, I don't have to cut them out or anything like that. But they just have little pockets in them. Can you guys see that? There's a little pocket there. The lighting was showing it, then it disappeared. But there's a little pocket on the front end, underneath the back one there, there's another little pocket um, for the <clears throat> little man metal panel that goes in the front and back of these. I took them out because I don't want that level of support. I just want enough that it feels like it's keeping it in place. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, I just finished eating. Uh, we did like a free for all night because I had some sliced turkey that I had to get eaten up. I've been in there for a while. I think it was a week yesterday. Maybe a week today. So I wanted to get that finished. And I did. And Nick had some hot dogs. And John had the leftover pork from New Year's Day. So. Anyway. I have not uploaded a video on the vlog. For like three or four days. Three days, four days, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and edit a vlog right now. I got through half of that box downstairs before the snow started to fall. So we decided to go ahead and uh, call it and go get the... What the heck? I have 56 views on you never know when? What is going on? Why are people suddenly watching the vlog? Why are you watching the vlog? <laughs> um, anyway... Uh, do, 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 do. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Um, I totally forget what I was saying. The 19th. I was trying to figure out which vlog was the last one I actually uploaded. It was the 19th. So, on to the 20th. Um, so anyway, we finished eating. It started that was what it was. It started snowing, so we went to I went to Target and I ended up buying a couple of things in Target, a couple more than a couple of things. One of the things I bought was these little pads. They were in the dollar store or dollar spot. They have that dollar spot in the front of Target and they 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 range in like one, three, five dollars, I think is what they are now. They're not all just one dollars. But this one is weekly meal planning. And this was a dollar. And it just has you know the seven days and then it has like a little spot to make a list um so i bought two of these even though there's 52 on here so there's one for each week i don't know why i bought two but whatever i bought two and then there was another one that had something else i forget what the other one was but i bought two of those two and they were, it was something similar it had the days of the week and it was like a weekly planner almost um but it had the days of the week and you have like you could use it as a meal planner or you could use it as like a like a, just a weekly planner for these are the things I need to do this week like I want to go to you know I want to work out on Monday I got to take the kids to dance class on Tuesday you know what I mean anyway there's I there those were a dollar as well so I bought two of those they had a basic calendar for 2021 for a dollar so I bought one of those it's hanging in the kitchen now because we didn't do pictures this year at some point, I'd like to do pictures. Maybe we'll do it in the next couple of weeks um, before Neil goes to college. We'll get some pictures taken, and that'll be our 2020 pictures. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. Or maybe we'll just take a family picture with our camera or something like that. Um, but I bought one of those. And then what else did I buy? I bought a Dash. Have you guys seen the Dash brand? They make like waffle makers, pancake makers, egg. Uh, that's what I have. I have a waffle maker, an individual waffle maker, individual pancake maker, and then I have a egg cooker to make hard boiled eggs. All from Dash. Anyway, long story short, too late. They had um, the in pint ice cream maker on sale. It was six dollars off. It was normally twenty dollars. It was on sale for fourteen. So I grabbed that. I might take that back though. I'm still thinking about that. But they only had the one. And I picked it up and I, I don't know. I'm thinking about taking that back. Um, I also got something for Neil's bathroom, which John tried to put up and it doesn't fit. It is an outlet that has a built in shelf on the top because Neil got a water pick for Christmas and there's only one outlet in the bathroom down there. And 
it's not near the sink it's actually over beside the toilet so there's really nowhere for him to put his water pick so i was like oh i'll buy this it doesn't fit the outlet is too close to the wall it's in it's it's in a corner so it's too close to the wall it doesn't fit so i have to take that back and then i got a couple of packs of tortillas i got um they had their scented their christmas scented hand sanitizer was on clearance 90 percent off so i bought a bottle of that for 40 cents and then the quest um all the nutrition like the protein bars protein uh, supplements that sort of stuff were buy one get one 50 percent off so i got some of my quest hero bars um i bought four boxes of those and that was like the best price i've ever seen those things there are i think four in a box i'm pretty sure it's four and the price i ended up paying was about 550 a box 560 a box so what is that like a buck 15 per bar and they're usually 250 a pop per bar so i might go back and get two more boxes might we'll see i'm considering it I'm considering it anyway um so i might go back and get two more boxes of those before that sale ends the end of the week and then what else did i buy i don't remember i bought a handful of stuff like nothing like a ton but um i bought an outdoor like um an outdoor floodlight that is solar powered we're gonna look that might go back too I'm going to be honest, that might go back to, I was thinking about putting it. So outside the front of our house, there is a floodlight on that end of the house over there. And when you walk past it, it lights up. Wonderful, terrific. It lights up a part of the front yard and then like the driveway. So that's nice. On this side of the house, there's not really any lighting outside. So I was thinking about putting it outside like this window right here um just so that if like you walk past it or you're walking around this part of the yard it lights up um not sure we'll see anywho um come on so uh we might take that back as well so we'll see but the shelf's definitely going back um the the shelf's definitely going back the outlet shelf is definitely going back and then the um floodlight might go back and the ice cream maker might go back we'll see but i got protein bars i got i got protein bars i got my tortillas i got um a handful of stuff yeah a handful of stuff so i was in the car aisle because john needed that stable for gasoline um i ended up getting uh leather seat wipes because the seats in my car are starting to get a little bit dirty and because i have cream colored seats in my car so i'm gonna get i'm gonna try that out and see if it works um they didn't have stable in target they have oil stabilizer but not gas stabilizer which is kind of odd but whatever anywho that's where we're at at like 4 40. i'm gonna edit a vlog i'm gonna edit the 20th um and then i might go downstairs and get back into that box i would like to finish that box today i would i would like to finish that box today so and i want to do some meal prepping meal planning for the week so we've got plenty of food in the house i don't think i'm going to either go to the grocery store to make a meal a week's worth of meals but i just need to do the planning i haven't done meal planning since october so i need to get back into that so anyway that's it for now john is watching football and doing lesson planning because he goes back to school tomorrow nicholas um goes back to school tomorrow as well but he's still virtual until next week and he's playing Fortnite right now so yeah and Neil comes back on friday all right i'm gonna get to editing the vlog and i will see you guys later on tonight bye well y'all i did not get back downstairs to finish doing that box 
Uh, it is 8.45 and I'm on the third vlog that I was editing. I've got the 20th already uploaded, 21 is uploading now and I'm editing 22. But by golly, I was chatty on the 22nd. I've got almost a 40 minute vlog. 40 what? I've got like a 38 minute vlog, Nick. 30 minute vlog of what? On the 22nd. Apparently I was super chatty that day. Let me see how long it actually is. Oh, yeah, because... No, it is 40 minutes and 27 seconds. Yeah, because you were, like, all mad about the guy that just broke the thing. The furnace. Is, was that on the 22nd? Probably. That might have been on the 22nd. You might be right. Anyway, I was chatty on the 22nd. Um, so, anywho... It's 8.45. I don't think I'm going to finish editing this video because I want to do the meal plan for the week. Um, I've been looking at some recipes and some of them, like, I've, I've been looking at Eat Well 101 and they're 90 something, 98, 99 easy keto recipes. And they look really good. Some of them look really, really good. Like, some of them are easy, like, simple things, like slow cooker white chicken chili what do they use instead of instead of beans they don't use anything chilies jalapenos onion so they use like veggies in place of beans because most of the time chicken chili has some like white beans in it i think i'm not a big fan of chili uh sausage parmesan cream cheese soup which sounds amazing Delish. It is a tomato based soup. And then there is a slow cooker turkey soup, which has mushrooms in it, which I don't like mushrooms. That's a cream based soup. And then I've got garlic butter chicken. And then I have lemon garlic butter chicken thighs. So I don't know what's the difference between those. But I've got those recipes, and then I've got Keto Burger Fat Bombs. These look good. This is on uh, delish.com. That's what they look like. Now, I don't know that Nicholas would like these, because they do have cheddar in them. Um, granted, we don't necessarily have to put the cheddar in some of them. Like, we could just make, meat. they're basically meatballs with cheddar in them, let's be honest. But they're like a little appetizer. Which you could easily just eat, you know, as your dinner. I think this angle's really bad. I'm showing my double chin. Um, anyway, I am looking for different recipes and stuff that might be a little bit easier to modify for the three of us. Um, without Neil here, honestly, um, Neil eats quite a bit of calories. Because, like, he exercises and he burns a lot, too. But he eats quite a bit of food so what he usually does is he usually eats a big breakfast and then he eats dinner he usually only eats two meals a day so he usually eats more you know a bigger dinner and a bigger breakfast um when he's not here it's hard to make some well harder to make some of the recipes because we're not big fans of leftovers so I'm looking for recipes that I can do that might be more appropriate for just the three of us without Neil here because he's not really here anymore. Um, anyway, <sighs> my foot is killing me um, and my wrists were killing me. I did take my braces off a little bit ago, but um, it was, they were pretty sore. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, I made my chicken salad for the week and Nick's exit sausage I made this morning so those were good. Nick can you turn that down please? Nicholas is hanging out waiting to um, finish the vlog with me so I do have to wrap it up so um, anyway it is 8 48 I'm gonna do some meal planning for the week and maybe next week as well maybe a couple of weeks we'll see um, but That's kind of where we're at right now. This looks good. Broccoli chicken casserole with cream cheese and mozzarella. That sounds really good. I swear I hit open a new tab. Oh, it opened over here. Um, it's probably very similar to the beef and broccoli that we make. It sounds really similar to the beef and broccoli we make. 
Anyway, I'm tired. John shaved for the first time since like Thanksgiving and um, <clears throat> Nick is in school tomorrow, right Nick? Did we check to see if you had school tomorrow? I'm pretty no. sure he has school tomorrow. Nick doesn't think he has school tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure he does. I'm going to look it up right now. Do you have... Do you have, um... Do you have your email? My, my Gmail? That's weird. It brought up a totally not right email or school district. There it is. Huh? Nick's school ends in .us, not .edu, not .org, not .com. His school email or his school website ends in .us. I keep getting all US. these words every time if I'm like yeah, it's you do get you do get alerts. But anyway, I'm trying to bring up the calendar for Nick's school. Oh, my eyes itchy. Eyes itchy. Yep, my eyes itchy. Anyway, um. Nick, I'm pretty sure Nick has school tomorrow. We're going to look at this here in a second. And John is going back into the building tomorrow. So he was packing up all his stuff, shaving and all that good stuff. So I don't know why he bothered to shave because, let's be honest, um, yeah, see so you school on the 4th uh, because he's going to have a mask on anyway. But maybe it's just easier to wear the mask when he shaves. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right, so. now we know this now. In March? Yeah. Now we know when I'm off. Yeah, you have two days off in March. You've got... And I have only... The 18th in January. You've fourth, got the 15th in February. So I get no Easter on April. Yeah, you do. That's no, what I the don't. first, the first, the second, and the fifth is, is Easter. That's confusing. Yeah, it's a, it's a short one this year. Usually, usually Nick has off Tuesday through Monday. Usually, it's off five, five full days for Easter. Um, this year, they changed it, and they only have off two two days, pretty much. So that does suck. Anyway, Whew, excuse me. So that is gonna be it for today. Today. I am thankful that I did get out of the house a little bit today. And I'm thankful that I got about half of that box done. I'm thankful that I got two two vlogs edited. Um, and I'm thankful that I have some time to just rest up and hopefully my foot will not hurt tomorrow. But I'm back to work tomorrow. Nick is back to school tomorrow. And John's back to school tomorrow too. So... Neil starts back in two weeks. He is telling me he's going to be here this week. And then he goes back to school. His his semester starts on the 19th. I had to pay his tuition tonight. So I'm broke. So, yeah. I'm broke. His, his tuition pretty much took the rest of the savings. Uh, until we can get our tax refund. And, um get our taxes done and stuff like that so one of these weekends here very very soon I have to do my um, pan publishing and my Nimini's taxes so yeah anyway that's gonna be it for today Nick let's wrap her up hope today is better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today hope you have a great day and we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow are you looking forward to going back to school tomorrow kind of well, yeah yeah you might be shocked about it what's that the, the people. Why? What about out, people? Out there. Out where? It, watching us. People are watching us? No, when you upload it. They'll see it. Oh, the the people who watch the vlog? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I'll say this. My dad got a copy of the inspection, the home inspection that the buyers paid for. And there was nothing that was of major concern. But pretty much the way that this home inspector does it, they do like black ink, 
blue ink and then red ink blue ink is like here are some recommendations but it's not like a terrible thing it's just a recommendation red ink is like this is broken you need to fix it um we had some blue ink things nothing that was broken that needed fixed and it said stuff like you want to make sure you re your shower on a regular basis you want to make sure that you are you know doing regular maintenance on your furnace every year like that sort of stuff was what was in the blue ink there was not a single spot of red ink except for where it described what red ink was so that was a plus so i'm very thankful we got that today too so anyway tomorrow we get the furnace checked for safety just to be sure that it's not like gonna kill anybody <laughs> and that it's functioning as it should be and all that jazz so anyway all right We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.